I'm James Hind. I'm a teacher here at the Robert Manning College in Bourne, Lincolnshire. And a typical day for me begins about eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Get in the car, kids come with me to be dropped off at school, and then I come into work and I'm here about 20 past eight. Fortunately, I have an office to myself. I get in, I log on, start checking out the things that I need to do today. I'm employed primarily as a geography teacher. We have a five-period day, and I teach my A-level lessons and Year 7 through to Year 11 as well. Uh, something new that started this year is the new diplomas, which are a new national qualification, which is an alternative to GCSEs. Stop there, it's time for my Superman act. Uh, what's going on? Right, this is the Environmental and Land Based Diploma Group. This is the Level 1 group, and I've got 12 students and as part of their unit on animal care and nutrition uh, we're actually building a rabbit enclosure right okay this has been got ongoing over a number of weeks what's your problem jack you pulled the lid off sorry he's not strong enough uh, the whole point about diplomas in general is that they're a less academic and more practical vocational style of learning i enjoy it because there's a chance to get to grips with nature. It's just the right sort of thing for me to do and because it's equal to seven and a half GCSEs it's um, quite useful for future things for going to conservation. Connor, be careful because you're going to break that trellis. I just saw you miss. We've packed a lot into this first term. The, the key highlight has been a trip to a local farm where the students got to feed some cattle and uh, one or two had a go at vaccinating the cattle as well. They also had the opportunity to drive a tractor which was controlled by GPS and have a ride in combine harvester as well as looking at the seed stores and learning about all the different f features and functions of the farm. We've had my dogs come in and we've done some animal handling and health care with him. And I got the local manager of Sainsbury's, the chief grower from Sweet Ponics who are her grow herbs for supermarkets, and the local farmer in, and the students were told nothing about them beforehand. They had to devise their own questionnaire, and they did a 15-minute uh, question and interview session in rotation. And they recognised that we had the farmer, the food processing, and the supermarket, the three main chains in the, uh, of the food industry, and how things got sourced from the soil to where it gets to, into the hands of the customer in the supermarket. We've been very lucky here at Robert Manning to benefit some fund funding from uh, Catapulting Kids Project. Without that, we wouldn't have been able to do what we do here. We wouldn't have been able to buy do as many activities and facilities. Fortunately with the funding that we got, which was £75,000, we've been able to build, uh, refurbish the classroom, uh, regenerate the outdoor area, build all the greenhouse, the glass house, clear the area and build a large barn that you see there which we use for uh, indoor practical work and the small classroom within there as well. A lot of work gone into the pond in the environmental area. We've dredged and cleaned and we've got equipment as well which we can test for dissolved oxygen and water quality we're looking into. So there's a lot of scientific aspects of our work in there. Uh, without the help it would be much less practical and progress of the students would have been a lot slower. I wouldn't to be honest, I would have been able to envisage us making a rabbit enclosure this morning, for example. Certainly lessons would have had to be much more classroom based. I thought it'd be organised chaos, but it actually looks a bit more organised than that. We've been very lucky to get the collaboration of a lot of local employers who are coming on site here and allowing us to visit them with our students. Employee engagement is, is vital to the success of the diploma and the more we can get local businesses involved, the better. We have students who currently go out on one hour or two hours work experience a week, but we also have employees who are coming into college and helping us with the work on site. Some students have already interviewed a range of businesses. Good for the employers because the course we're doing, the diploma that we do, it upskills 
potential employees, saving employers the hassle of retraining or having to do a lot of foundation and beginning training with their with new employees before they can actually do the job properly. Hopefully by working with the local employees we can get the students into a position where they can start work straight away. It's more efficient, it's better all around for everyone.